What's up guys? It's another Destiny video. We're in the Crucible right now. I'm just doing uh, my Thorn Bounty that I haven't completed in a while because I haven't did uh, the Crucible part of it. Because the Crucible part is a pain because I hate Atheon's epilogue and I had no real really good sniper rifle or shotgun or anything like that and I had a heavy that was void but that only came every so often. I didn't know how well I'd do with it every time so kind of sucks but I'm getting there. Um, in this video I'm a third of it or so or not even a third I think. I was like 120 something out of 500 so <clears throat> it was still pretty early on my progression for completing it but now I I'd actually got it all done and did the bounty the whatever he, Zor the XYOR I think that's the one wizard that he had to kill on the summoning pits which was pretty difficult soloing it because he had a kind of, the knights were but now I really want to talk about how to improve destiny and what um all you, what uh, what it's really missing and what it really needs to take it to the next step of to be a great game and I think these improvements will be great for Destiny. Now, one of the improvements I would like to make would be, you know, when you run on a strike, it'd be, you know, the same thing, the same people spawning. It gets a little redundant. But, I think they can subtly change how you interact with the enemies in each strike. And um, one way would um, to do this would be Instead of having them spawn in the same place, maybe add a few more, they, they call them monster boxes, um, and make it random to where they to where they spawn now. Uh, I think the Ishtar Academy one, I think, on Venus, um, they have the three Sepic, um, not Sepic Prime, the, the whatever you call those little orb thingies. Um, that they spawn in from random they don't you don't know where they're gonna spawn in from but you have a general idea that it's in that one room to the left or to the right in that other building but the point I want to make is they need to add um, different locations where they spawn in and it's all, it's all random so you'll never know where the enemy will come um, it gets a little old going in and seeing the same people and the same you know same locations the same kind of it's kind of everything it, it, it gets really really boring and I think they could easily add a bunch of random spots that, that they could spawn from and and leading up to that I think they should add you know different um, spawns of enemies um, so say 20 thralls spawn you know and th this is the first the first time you're going through 20 thralls spawn that's it you know but then um, the next the next time you go through that part on a different um, a different um, run it might be like maybe only 10 thralls a bunch of acolytes and a couple knights and then you could go like you know it'd just be different every time and um, the amount of people I think they could scale upward to make it more chaotic and um, just have a better gameplay feel and that I think that would cater to all the people that are asking for like horde mode or like um, survival mode which would be pretty cool but I think that they should still add that but I think this would help um, solve it a little bit on their step of developing um, the horde mode now to take it a step further with their enemies and make it make them more random I think giving them different weapon types and stuff like that to different enemies now just for example you know the vandals just have a just a you know regular sniper you know they could easily just modify and give them say let's just say let's just say a spartan laser beam from halo 3 and this is just a random example give give one of them just a random element they're throwing in there you might get a chance of getting you know, the Spartan laser beam vandal guy has a charge time on it and a, a cooldown on it. Uh, it would change the way you interact with them. Um, you would you know by the adjective before their name of of who, what kind of enemy type it was. Um, just really copying this from Diablo 3 because they do a very nice job with it and really creates a uh, more creative way you interact with the people. 
Um, going, uh, giving you guys another um, example of this, just be have a curse draw, you know, kind of implode and kind of suck you in there and it'll still give you a good damage. But <clears throat> I think adding kind of just like little little tweaks and like random elements to the game like this would be very much appreciated to the community and I think it would it'd benefit it a lot from not letting it get so stale when running them over and over and the people that's been here the longest are getting pretty tired with going through the same strikes and memorizing where all the enemies are spawning at and how many they are and who they are it, it gets really old really quick but it's still really fun because of how tight the gameplay is and how just the flu the controls work so well I mean I think they will eventually go to this next step and kinda branch out from here but we'll see now doing this I think it would r really increase the overall product but I think another system that they should add would be like an upgrade system now the upgrade system you could upgrade your existing blues to purples and then if you want to go step lower you can go your greens the blues <clears throat> now doing this I mean you you can't really besides on PvP you can't really play with the gun you want because the damage is low and who wants well, just one perk I mean if they add this upgrade system you could upgrade your gun your blue gun that you really like and the really like the looks of and just how it feels and plays and stuff within your game Doing this, it would add more of a mixture and more of a a variety into the into the bag of our if of already the expansive loot system that they have, and <clears throat> it'd be really neat to see. But it might be a little big of a bit of a stretch. But here's how they do it. Everyone loves the exotic quest lines and how. It feels when you get that gun and you went through this enormous amount of work to get this kind of exotic. I don't understand why they couldn't <coughs> add it into um, the blues and greens. You could easily, you know, have several bounties for the gun that you have to complete to upgrade the gun, and then you have, like say you have to have a thousand headshots of any on anybody, a guardian or enemy or whatever. <laughs> and then a, bu a more a bunch more bounties that I don't really want to get into, but you get you get my drift. Um, doing this would be pretty cool if they just added just um, kind of subtle bounties and kind of underlining bounties when, while you're playing with the gun. And once you reach all those, you have the option to upgrade it, and it would create you know you'd use materials that are already required for your gun. So say it requires spin metal. Spin metal you want to use that you have to have like a hundred spin metal and uh, energies or shards depending on the weapon or the armor uh... if you go from there and glimmer you could add glimmer to it just uh, another another gold sink i think if they do this it would re create replayability and the missions and make you go out into the world and explore and keep um, and keep keep the game alive and you always feel like you're working towards something that you want and you it'd be cool now a system that really ties in well with this would be like the perk roll system and the stat roll system for your gear and guns I think doing this just like the iron banner but not with a mo don't do it with Mozilla make it Make it like shards or something, and 